Welcome to the open day talk for the BA Digital Arts and Technology at NUI Galway. My name is Dr. Pori Killeen. I'm the academic coordinator for the program. Today, I'd like to give you a little bit of an overview of the program, its structure, the kind of course content you will pursue on it, what your options are for art subjects within the program, and ultimately, what sort of career opportunities you would be moving toward upon completion of the degree. So I'm going to share a presentation with you today, and uh, it'll last around 15 minutes. So BA in Digital Arts and Technology is around um, four years old now. It's a reasonably new program. Some of the key facts are around the program include that it uh, is a four-year program, that it has certain entry requirements which are available on our website, but as you can see here, the minimum grade is uh, H5 in two subjects and passes in four other subjects at an ordinary uh, H6 or H7 level. So why would you pursue this program? Well, digital technology shapes our lives at almost every level, uh, from education and work to communications, our social life, our interaction with media, our creative uh, endeavors. So we do need advanced uh, digital skills and digital literacy to respond to the presence of it in our lives. We need to understand how these technologies can be used in creative ways within the arts, within literature, cultural heritage, uh, within our media sphere more generally. We also need to think about um, the impact of these technologies on society, uh, both positive and negative impacts. So our BA in Digital Arts and Technology will help you to discover creative and productive ways to use these new technologies, informed by a deeper understanding of technology's relationship to the world. So our objective is uh, to use technology in ways that are both creative and critical and to fuse these two dimensions. So what is the BADAT? How does it operate? It's a four-year degree, as we've mentioned. Uh, within it, you choose a traditional art subject uh, as your major. So that might be English history, one of the languages, classics, geography. There's a range of options, and I'll show you them in a moment. Uh, you also take a second major, which is information technology, and you take a range of courses uh, within that over the course of a number of years. And these would include computer programming, multimedia, web design, AI, data analytics, and a number of others. In addition, you also take a specially designed suite of courses that focus on digital cultures. And these blend elements of practical and topic-based study. And I, I'll talk about these again in a moment. In year three of the program, students have the option to go on a work placement or to study abroad. So the structure looks something like this. In year one, you do an art subject. This art subject is your own choice. Again, you might use history or English, uh, one of the languages. You'll also do your suite of modules in IT. And then you will do, in each semester, a module uh, based around digital cultures. And within that module, we have both practical practice-based elements where you produce content and also topic-based critical analysis of uh, subjects relevant to a discussion of digital media. Year two is somewhat similar. Uh, year three is where things change a little bit. Uh, you'll spend uh, time on a work placement or studying abroad in the Erasmus program. Uh, there is also a, a range of options, module options that year in media spheres such as UX design or journalism and a number of others film and students uh, can pick the modules they would like to do in that year. In year four, you return from your placement or your study abroad and you resume your art subject and bring it to the close of your degree as you do with your IT modules. And in addition, throughout the year, you work on a digital cultures project uh, of your own devising with supervision um, and it will draw on some of the practical skills you've acquired in IT uh, over the years, but also on some of the kind of multimedia skills you'll have acquired as part of your digital culture strand. So the art subjects that will inform the major subject within this program for you are currently listed here, archaeology, classics, economics, English, French, German, history, geography, Irish, Spanish, Italian, mathematics, philosophy. So quite a range of options there. And many of them are very complementary to uh, work in IT. And certainly all of them, uh, I think, complement very well the kind of work you'll be doing in digital cultures. 
information technology courses that you will take during the course of your four years are, are very variant. And among them are these computer systems, algorithms, database systems, programming, AI, human computer interaction, uh, web-based information systems, and there are a number of others. And then finally, the kind of topics that you look at during your digital cultures uh, modules over the first two years and then for your final project in the final year will include uh, social media and digital selfhood, uh, analysis of big tech data harvesting and surveillance, uh, consideration of the ethics of AI and machine learning and its impact on our society. Uh, we'll investigate transhumanism, this idea of you know, a, a sort of fusion of humanity and machine that lies in front of us. We'll look at the emergence of uh, new forms of storytelling that are informed by digital strategies and techniques, including interactive storytelling. And we'll look at um, some practical uh, tools that we can use where you pr produce your own interactive stories. We'll also have a, in, in a very strong interest in cultural heritage and, and the way in which the digital is helping to develop that sphere in unique ways. And again, there'll be practice-based opportunities for you to work around archival projects in, in the digital humanities. We'll look at remix culture and practice, including everything from memes to glitch work and glitch art. And again, there'll be opportunities for practice using video editing uh, programs to create your own remixes, but also um, drawing on uh, other forms such as video poetry and the video essay as a scholarly form. We'll look at the history of uh, net art and the contempor contemporary realm of digital art. And again, there'll be opportunities for practice in this area. And we'll also, uh, be pursuing a number of practical uh, weeks on video editing, graphic design, podcasting. And uh, these are the sort of skills that by the time you reach your uh, fourth year and begin work on your uh, digital cultures project, you'll be drawing on some of these skills as well as perhaps some of the programming and broader IT skills you'll have acquired during your IT study. So what would you do afterwards? Well. Uh, further specialized study is always available uh, to graduates. Uh, either you would go on to a master's, perhaps, or a PhD, ultimately. Um, a master's in IT or computer science would be very advantageous to someone who comes from this program. If you have, many of our students are very interested in digital arts and uh, are creative-minded. And then many of our students are also very interested in IT and grow more interested in that, in that sphere. Uh, a good um, decision, I suppose, toward the end of the degree would be to look at a master's in computer science if you are interested in IT. This would uh, essentially help to convert your knowledge that you've acquired during your BA into um, a, a sort of uh, qualification in uh, IT and computer science and whatever particular area you uh, found yourself attracted to. Uh, of course, a teaching career is, all, is also always available to arts graduates, and this program uh, is, makes a very strong um, uh, case for uh, a teaching career because you could go on, do your HDIP in education, and then go into secondary school and teach uh, the art subject you took, so for instance, history, but also information technology. And as we know, uh, the demand for uh, teachers in the IT is, is expanding all the time. Obviously, you can go into a career in the technology sector uh, and in the creative arts, cultural industries, uh, gaming, perhaps. The broader media and communication sphere, uh, advertising, PR, uh, graphic design, anywhere that strong IT knowledge is, is uh, acquired and fuses well with creative analytic communication skills. So the broader area of journalism, media, publishing, and so on. Why would you choose this program? Uh, you can develop career prospects in computer science and digital arts. So one of the real advantages is that it's not, um, it, it, the program is really addressing a need for students who maybe leave secondary school, but aren't sure exactly what it is they'd like to do. And perhaps they are drawn to arts, but they're, they'd also like to have something a little bit more um, technical, uh, perhaps even career oriented and 
uh, knowledge of computer science obviously is very helpful in that regard. We don't believe that, you know, there are such a thing as art students and techie students. Uh, the traditional uh, discipline boundaries between the technology sector and the art sector don't hold for us. Uh, many of the most inventive people, creative and artistic minded people working in our culture globally today are not um, artists and only artists, but they are artists who have advanced computer skills. So we really, um, we're really trying to cater for students who enjoy both sides, the technical and the creative and artistic. Of course, uh, in doing the program, you'll deepen your understanding of digital technologies. You'll explore interactions between creativity and technology. You'll investigate the cultural, social, ethical dimensions of these new technologies. And that's a very necessary critical skill to acquire if you are going to work in this sphere. Ultimately, you'll learn communication and project building skills that will be transferable to any work environment and therefore hopefully make you very uh, employable afterwards. So should you wish to have any more information about the course, please contact me. My email address is available on screen, Porik Killeen at nuigalway.ie. Not forgetting the dot in between Porik and Killeen. Uh, thank you for your attention today and uh, the best of luck with your further study, whatever you choose.